Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, so now, my name is Dylan and I'm currently a fourth year medical student at the University of Eto Lopez Rand. Uh, and I made this channel just to document my medical school journey, I guess. Uh, I'm going to make some videos on what we're doing in medical school, how to get into medical school perhaps, how to study in medical school, how to survive medical school, and what we're doing in medical school basically. So if you're interested in any of those, of those topics, um, like this video, subscribe to my youtube channel um i'll be trying to pump out some more content uh perhaps a video a week or something like that so yeah if you're interested like and subscribe thanks so what we're going to talk today is uh, how i got into uh, medical school so just for some context i got into medical school uh through a program at that's they call it the chain program which is the graduate into medical program uh, this is basically a program for people who uh, graduate with another degree and then you have a chance to, uh, to study medicine. So yeah, so my path was actually quite an, a unique one because in school I wasn't really academically inclined, especially in my grade 11 year. I remember the teachers telling us, um, like listen, these marks are going to, to, the, uh, to the universities. And I was thinking like, no way, my grade 11 marks are not going to university, I'll send my Richard Marx University. That's literally what I was thinking. And you guys probably know that's not how it works. Your grade 11 Marx goes out to university. But I don't have any older siblings or any parents or immediate family that actually went to study. So I was like, nah, I'll just send my matric results. So needless to say, I didn't study and I didn't perform well academically. So, um, so in my grade 11 year, I was thinking like, what do I wanna do? And at that stage I was thinking, um, I actually want to become a veterinarian so I didn't have the marks for that and I knew that I didn't want to work in office so that that's kind of what I was thinking and I was thinking like I am a bit of a like a sciencey person so I was like perhaps I should do something in science and uh, one of my friends one of my good friends he uh, told me what he's gonna study and he showed me all his research and he wanted to study biochemistry and zoology um, and I was like, yeah, that sounds great. I want to do that. I want to study biochemistry and zoology. And he said, you want to study at Northwest University where most of my people in my high school, because I'm Afrikaans, a lot of people go there to that university. So I applied. I didn't even get my first uh, choice. I only got my second choice, which was zoology and microbiology. So yeah, so in 2018, I started at the University of uh, the, uh, Northwest University um, as a first year. And one of the big things that happened in my first year that actually like had a massive role in me being in medical school today was uh, I actually decided to study in English. Uh, actually, the same friend, uh, the day we had to write academic literacy like exam, which is the exam that shows how good you are in a certain language, I chose English, but he was in the English queue. And I remember I asked him, why English? Why don't we go and study Afrikaans? And he said, like, no, the worst place is in English. Well, what about the best to study in English? And I was like, yeah, that's cool. Study in English. So that was massive because everything now I do is in English. So I studied in English, wrote all my exam papers in English, typed all my research stuff in English. Um, so that helped me massively in order to prepare for the exam to get into medical school as well as to pass medical school, essentially. Um, so yeah, that was a massive thing. So also my first year, I also I didn't study. Well, I did study, but not to extend where in order to get good marks. I just studied to pass. Uh, I was also enjoying life. I was in a hostel. Uh, it was a good time. Uh, I didn't really think about the future. All that I was focusing on was to pass and to do my thing. Um, and I remember after my first year, I thought to myself, I didn't listen. I had to get my stuff together. I have to do well. Also at the Northwest University, there's a bursary. If you get above 75, I think you get 50% of study fees. 25%, if you get above 80, you get 50% of, of your study fees or 75% of your study fees, something like that. And I remember in my second year, I wanted to get that. I wanted that. So I worked very, very hard, like I did in school in my matric year again. So I started very hard uh, in my second year and I got very good marks. And this is actually also very important because to apply for medical school uh, for the graduate entry program, they take your second and third year marks to get into that program. So at this stage, I even wasn't even thinking medical school. I was just thinking to get this bursary thing. 
so yeah i completed my second year we did a lot of fun stuff a lot of cool microbiology stuff so this is just me and a friend messing around in the lab uh, while we were doing um, like gram stains and acid fast stains and things like that so yeah it was just some some good fun in the lab um, and the next video is just like we doing some i think it was dna extraction on a on an onion and then we also did the pcr and gel electrophoresis and even sequencing on that so that's it's also pretty cool and then this, this is just some micola on an agar plate um so yeah we did some pretty cool stuff i enjoyed it a lot uh, in my third year i um i also started the year off well and um i was focused on my school and yeah i was studying hard um, and then COVID hit, in February COVID hit and uh, we were all forced to go back home and the university shut down for like six weeks or something. So in that six weeks, I did a lot of like thinking about what I want to do with my life and like what is important to me. Like this is one of the first times I actually sat down and thought like what, I'm, what am I actually going to do with my life? Or what I want to do with my life? And I did a lot of research. I did a lot of like, like seeing how I can apply to go study overseas and things like that. None of that really worked out um, and I stumbled upon a video about uh, Dr. Mike on YouTube and uh, he basically like explained how he got into medical school and like that he did a BC before he got into medical school and I thought that's crazy and I didn't even thought about that and so I did my own research looking places overseas where you can do that and I saw that America that's the norm is you do a four-year degree before you go to medical school in America and Canada that's the norm but I actually found that in South Africa um you can have, there's like university of Dr. Trump also does this where you can do a like a any degree and just have certain subjects a certain percentile for that and write the exam and then you can get in and i thought that's crazy so i messaged a couple of people on instagram how it works exactly if they would recommend it and everyone had just had good things to say about it and so i i went on web, with this website i saw the subjects that you need in order to get into uh, this program and I saw I had all these subjects so I applied and uh, one of the people I I, um, I conversed with on Instagram told me that if you have the minimum subject or the subjects and the minimums for them then you can just start studying for the WAPT so that was our, what I was focused on from like April until September when you wrote the WAPT so the WAPT is an exam that you write in order to get placed in the gym program so it's the VITS additional placement test basically uh, this is a very difficult exam, but I find it very, found it very difficult and uh, I studied like four months for it, four or five months for it, every day, while doing my undergrad still. Um, so needless to say, I applied, I wrote the rap. I remember it was a very long test, I remember my blood sugar dropped a lot and uh, yeah, I struggled to get through it, I wasn't sure if I passed, it was very hard for me. Um, I remember my blood sugar went so low in the, during the test, I had to walk around, the, like, around it was a pool table, I had to walk around the pool table just to, like, get through this test, because it's, I can't even remember, but it was a massive test. Um, so I wrote it, and then in September, they said, uh, they sent, uh, in, oh, not in September, like a month or two after, they sent me an email and said, listen, then you passed the test. And I remember I was, like, over the moon, excited that I passed it, and, like, I'm one step closer to getting into medicine which is crazy uh, to think to think that and um, then what happens then is you have to send your second and third year results in and then there's like a sub minimum they take an average of it and there's a sub minimum which they take the problem is with COVID this that year is we only like completed a university at, at like 10 10th of December or something like that and our results were only ready after that and they had a cutoff date and I like I I got an email saying I have uh, I have placement but it's like um, based on my based on my results that they still need to get my third year results and I was over the moon ecstatic and they gave me a deadline I think it was the 14th of December or something like that um, and I struggled to get those results I I had to email the dean i had to email my profs uh, one of my previous lecturers actually the one that helped me i phoned her and she pulled some strings for me and got my results earlier than everyone else's and i could send it to it and then i got final placement and then on the first uh, first of february we started with medical school which was crazy and uh, i was so happy and over the moon excited 
about it. So yeah, I thought I just made this video that just to give some inspiration that you don't have to have it all figured out in school. Um, there is plenty of ways if you are willing to work hard, if you're willing to put in the time and you know where you want to go. And uh, there's plenty of ways where you can get there. Um, like I said, in, in school, I was, uh, I didn't know what to do. And I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't see the importance of, of school, to be honest. Um, so yeah, this is just motivational for you that if you uh, if you're willing to to put in the time, work hard, and you know where you want to go, like you can do it. I really believe in you, and you can you can do it. If I can do it, then you can do it. Um, so yeah, that is that is how I got into medical school. Today is the twenty sixth of August. August, so I'm almost through my Gen two year, which is fourth year. So I'm almost a fifth year, um, which is crazy to think time flies. So time flies by so fast. Um, but yeah, if you like my videos and if you uh, if you want to see more, like and subscribe. And um, thank you so much for watching till the end. I really appreciate it.